All right, moving to our other top story right now. The former CFO of the Detroit Riverfront Conservancy admits he stole millions of dollars from the nonprofit. The revelation comes in form of a plea deal connected to a new case filed against Smith. Sean Lay is live for us today. Sean, he was originally accused of stealing more than $40 million. $40 million. We'll say that again. We're here at federal court monitoring this because this is a big development here. Federal prosecutors revising their charges against Smith, refiling them this week. It's indicating that perhaps a plea deal is in the works. Here's exactly what we know. New court documents obtained by Local 4 News show a bombshell deal involving this man you see hustling out of federal court and away from our cameras. He's William Smith, the former Detroit Riverfront Conservancy CFO. Smith is now expected to plead guilty to money laundering charges and wire fraud charges in the massive embezzlement case against him. Smith is planning to admit that he is indeed guilty of what the feds are alleging, that Smith used the conservancy to the tune of $40 million. That's $40 million taken from the nonprofit and allegedly used by Smith to fund a massively lavish lifestyle that included a condo in Mexico, a yacht, paying off tens of thousands of credit cards and limos, airfare, jewelry, and much more. Today's move comes as a similar charge is filed against Smith of embezzling another $14 million from the conservancy. Theft, the feds say, that goes back to 2012. We're talking about years of theft, millions of dollars, with apparently no one noticing until now. All right, back here live. Here's what's next. One o'clock tomorrow, Smith will be here in federal court arraigned on that new revised charge. We'll see if that guilty plea follows that. We'll have it covered for you. We're live downtown. Sean Lay, Local 4. Kimberly, back yeah. to you. Okay, Sean, thank you.